Hey friend, Graham here from RecordingRevolution.com, and today let's talk about the power of contrast with your vocals when it comes to mixing. When you mix vocals, or anything for that matter, but especially vocals because they are the, the hub and the center of every major song, unless it's an instrumental track, the vocal is the most important thing in the track. And so when we're thinking about vocals, we could think about EQ and compression and effects like we did in the last video when I showed you the three steps to making your vocal sound more professional. But then there's another element to making your vocals sound great, and that's not just how they sound sonically, it's how much contrast there is with the vocal throughout the song, okay? What do I mean by contrast? I mean the vocal sounds one way for one part of the song and a slightly different way or drastically different way in another part of the song so that your ear continues to pay attention as the listener to the vocal as the vocal continues to scream for your attention in a really good and artistic way. This is a simple concept. I want you to understand this video is gonna be really to the point. Let me show you an example of contrast on a vocal so that you can understand how to think about creating contrast with your vocals that you're mixed. There's a lot of ways to implement it, but I just want you to be thinking about this because this will take your vocal mixes to another level. Here is a song where the vocals, obviously when they were given to me are nice and dry, Okay, and so by themselves, this is what they sound like. Evidently older, you should be much stronger now. Bittersweet attention, you forgot to mention anyone but yourself. I'd love to see the sadness behind those wasted eyes. Okay. In context with the mix, I wanted to make those vocals far more interesting. So take a listen to what they do in the verse going into the chorus. Evidently older, you should be much stronger. Right? Do you hear the slight delays coming in? Here it is. A little bit of contrast at the very, very beginning. Evidently older, you should be much stronger now. now. Right? On that big section of the song where the band has contrast, where it gets real big. Much stronger now. Right, we go from stripped down acoustic guitar singer songwriter to full band overdriven guitars the vocal not only does he go up in melody which is a great arrangement decision but i wanted to emphasize that with vocal contrast so i've got delay on there and then the same thing coming into the chorus anyone but yourself i'd love to see the sadness behind those wasted eyes Right, adding those delays right there in the chorus. Anyone but yourself, I'd love to see the sadness behind those wasted eyes. Okay, first, if you're curious, how am I doing this? I'm using a delay send, so I don't have a delay on the vocal. I'm not a fan of doing that. I'm a fan of creating a send, which allows me to direct a copy of the vocal wherever I want in the mix. I'm gonna send it wherever I want on a bus. Right, think about like a bus going through a city. Put my vocal on a bus, where do I wanna send it? Well, I wanna send it into some delay. That delay is right here, and I'm using Echo Boy, and I just started with the default settings, tapped in the tempo, set it to quarter note, put a little telephone effect tape style on it, rolled off some top end, just to kind of create that cool effect. But what I'm doing then is using automation on the send. So the delay send by default is muted. So I'm not sending any of it to the delay, but in, under my automation lanes, you can see by default it's muted, but then this big chunk here, it's not muted. Okay, then it's muted again, and then it's not muted here. So all that does now is set me up to create the delay to come on when I want it on, which is in the big parts or the chorus, and off when I want it off, which is in the intimate parts, which are the verses. And that's easily done in any DAW by using send mute automation if you're sending it into a delay effect or any effect, but in this case, I'm using delay. So the idea is real simple is 
you know, the song has already got some cool contrast because it's a well-written, well-arranged song. The band did a really good job. And so then my job as the mixer is to emphasize that contrast with the vocal, which is what most people are paying attention to. So I like that idea of turning the delay on there. So think about, can I turn delays on or effects on for maybe the loud part of the song? Now, I've done this in a different way when it gets to the bridge. The bridge is very different in this song. It drops down to this piano, and um, this is what it sounds like. I could have kept it just dry and treat it like a verse, we have the dry verse and the big delay chorus, but I thought I would create contrast in a different way. So what I've done is I've sent it to a different style of delay. I've got another send here called Slap, sending it to a different plugin, which is on this track called Slap. Sorry, same plugin, but different setting. In this case, it's the 16th note uh, instead of a quarter note delay, and it's just treated like a short, nice slap delay. And so this creates a different effect vocally. And then it contrasts again back to a dry vocal and immediately contrasts back into the delayed vocal. So we go from, th we have three different sounds here within a matter of seconds, right? Let's just solo the vocal. But there in the back of your mind. That was one. Lies of sadness Two. left behind. Three. The Contrast. The, it's just giving your listener something different, making them pay attention yet again to the vocal, because so much of our job as mixers is not just to make a great sonically sounding balanced mix statically, meaning if you listen to it for five seconds, you go, oh, that sounds great. But how can we keep their attention for four whole minutes or three whole minutes or two and a half minutes? I mean, a lot of that should be on the songwriter and the arranging and the producing. But if you're just mixing something, or if you are the songwriter and you're just trying to mix your own music and you want to enhance your hopefully well-written, well-arranged song, then continue to think about contrast, especially on the vocal. What things can I do to have like verse be one way, chorus be another way, bridge be one way to keep the listener engaged? And you can use automation and effects and delays and reverbs and panning, all kinds of different things. This is just one example. The power of contrast on a vocal in your mix is something that's very underestimated for newbie mixers, but once you understand it and you pay attention, you'll hear it all over the place and it'll give you another creative muscle to flex to make your mixes really stand out. Now, I wanna help you out with your mixes even more. I wanna give you something, a, just a gift that will help you as you're thinking through all the things that are involved in mixing. There's so many tweaks and plugin settings and ideas and tricks and how do you view a mix as a whole. And if you get overwhelmed like me when you have too much information, I like to simplify things. I like to have a plan. I like give me a framework or an outline or a step-by-step -step plan to follow. That helps me break it down into simple chunks. So if that helps you, what I have for you is a couple of things. One, I have a eight-step mixing checklist I'd love to just give you. This is something you can download right now, simple PDF. And you can, the idea is to keep it, keep it on your phone or print it out, put it on your desk and then reference it. So it's, it's literally what I do when I start to mix. Step one, do this. Step two, do this. Step three, I sort of have eight main steps that I think of and I go from one to the other to the other. And it allows me to have a linear process for mixing. Every mix is different. Every song is different. So if you can simplify your process and do it in order, it helps you still be creative while having some direction and vision. So you can download that mixing checklist, but I wanna give you something else in addition to that checklist. In a few weeks, I'm launching a brand new course, an all comprehensive mixing course, something I've never quite done to this level. It's called Mixing University. It's gonna cover the basics of mixing. If you're brand new, foundational stuff, 
details on the how-to with EQ and compression and understanding, get the best out of your DAW and your room, all that good stuff, but all the way to advanced tactics and strategies. I've got a whole section on just mixed tricks covering some of my best tricks on vocals, guitars, bass, drums, things that you should just have in your back pocket to know how to do this, 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 and this. And then I also will break down songs and do complete song mix walkthroughs in front of you. We'll mix a song in front of you step-by-step so you see the whole process from raw tracks to final mix of, across multiple genres. So it won't just be one song or one genre, multiple genres, multiple walkthroughs. This is gonna help you take your amateur mixes to sound radio ready, to sound professional, to have every resource you need to tackle mixing and take it to the next level with your current gear, your current DAW, you're going to love this course. I'm putting my, my blood, sweat, and tears into this to make it the most helpful, the most comprehensive mixing course. And so what I thought I would do is give you a little taste, a little sneak peek of the course. So when you download the mixing checklist that I've got for you, I'm going to give you a sneak peek from Mixing University. It's just one little video of just the hours and hours of content. And not only will you be able to get a taste of it for free early on, but when you do that, you'll be put on an early access list so that you'll know the moment the course launches, you'll actually get access to the course about a week before everyone else does. It's gonna launch for you around the 11th of October. So you're gonna get first dibs on this thing, plus the free sneak peek, plus the eight step mixing checklist and some other goodies I wanna give you. Just get all of that for free as my gift to you at mixingchecklist.com. Okay, I'm gonna put the link below the video in the description box, but it's also here on the screen. Just go to mixingchecklist.com, get the eight step checklist. I got some multi-tracks for you. you can download and practice mixing on. You're gonna get the sneak peek of Mixing University and you'll be put on the early access list to hear about the course and get all the details on that and a chance to jump in the course before anybody else gets access to it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to these videos. I will see you on another video real soon.